Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the unconventional attorney, the owner of CMS Law Firm. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the fact, this is a fact, that hiring someone will make you busier before it won't. Uh, before I get and dive into that though, I wanna remind you, if you are a law firm owner and you are struggling, if you are plateauing, if you are stuck, if you are successful, and you wanna just hang out with some other cool law firm owners, please go check out the OMA Accelerator. It's a group uh, I put together, uh, has training, and has all kinds of great stuff, and it's amazing. Um, and it's cheap. It's 147 a month, and I guarantee you it will change your life. So go check it out, theunconventionalattorney.com forward slash OMA. We'll get you there. Just go check it out. Okay, so... Today's topic actually comes from um, um, something that one of the speakers at my latest, uh, my well, my latest in a long time, um, Sanctuary Live event um, this past weekend. So we have, I have the OMA Accelerator, which is sort of a training ground. It's a, it's a, um, it's a way of being, really. Um, no, it's really a training ground, a, a way to set your firm up, systems, processes, marketing, advertising, <clears throat> all these things. And when you join the OMA Accelerator, then you get to come in and join the Sanctuary, which is a group, the, the group aspect of this thing. And every quarter, I do a live Sanctuary meeting. This is the first time that we met live in um, in about 18 months. January was the last time. So it's been a long, long time. And it was amazing. Uh, but this time, I got some speakers uh, to show up. And one of the things that uh, they talked about, this was... Mr. Andrew Norman um, was this idea, this concept of frantic and double frantic. Uh, frantic is what you feel when things start to go right and you start to get really, really busy. It feels like the wheels are gonna fall off. It feels like um, you know the house is gonna burn down. You are working long, hard, late nights. And you start to look for a solution or before you burn out. And the solution that is often the right solution is to hire somebody, right? Um, sometimes you can do it with tech, sometimes you can do it with systems, but often bringing in another human being to do some of the things that you do so that you don't have to do them anymore is the solution. Uh, the problem though is that your solution of hiring someone, of bringing in someone to help you, it actually creates this situation that we call double frantic. And it's just this idea that you have all of this work to do and you're bringing someone in to help you um, relieve the pressure of all this work. But when you bring them in, they don't hit the ground running. There's time for training, there's time for onboarding, there's just time for getting used to what's going on. And during that time, you're actually working harder. You're working longer. You're working more than you did even when you were in that frantic mode. This is something that is referred to as double frantic. And if you, are, if you are not prepared for it mentally, it can really throw you for a loop. You hire somebody, you think they're gonna come in, you think it's gonna be amazing, you think you're gonna just hit the ground running and you're gonna be so so free, right? You're gonna have all this free time, you're gonna be able to you know, take walks and whatever, just making stuff up. But, um, but you're not, because this person shows up and, and even if they're very experienced, you still have to teach them how your systems work, how your process works, uh, you have to indoctrinate, indoctrinate them to your philosophy and your way of working, and that takes time. And uh, during that time, the other work doesn't slow down, it keeps coming in, and so you become double frantic. Like I said, um, this isn't that big of a deal if you are mentally prepared for it. If you are not, it can freak you out, and it can, it can cause you to create some rash decisions. It can cause you to think that you're not making the right moves um, when in fact you are. So the point here is to just recognize and understand that when you hire somebody, when you imp implement new systems, when you do anything to relieve the pressure of growth, you are for a little while going to have more work on your plate than less while you are building up and building out these new things, these new structures for your business, implementing these new people into your business. If you're not ready for that, it can be a shock, it can be disconcerting, it can be discouraging, it can be all of the disses, really, and um, that's no good, okay? So I hope you find yourself in Double Frantic because what comes after Double Frantic? 
good times. And uh, maybe we'll talk about good times later. But uh, the point here is double frantic because people find themselves there, I think, quite often, and they are surprised. So that is it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this lesson from, again, the Sanctuary Live meeting that was last week. The next one's going to be in October in Las Vegas. I'm excited, and uh, maybe I'll see you there. Maybe not. Um, if you are a member of the OMA Accelerator, you will have a chance to come. If you're not a member and you're a law firm owner and you want to grow and you want to see what it's, what it's all about, go to theunconventionalattorney.com forward slash O-M-A and uh, take a look. It's 147 a month. It's pretty much amazing. Quit anytime. There's no contracts. Uh, I guarantee you're going to love it. A bunch of good, great people in there and um, would love to have you there too. Okay, that is it. Um, as always, I am Christopher Small. I am the unconventional attorney. I am the owner of CMS Law Firm. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you, and I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.